online dating sucks. We all know it. You can't get any matches. The matches you do get are ugly. The ugly matches don't message you. The girls that message you don't come on dates. And that's just the beginning. It's also, you know, highly superficial and very frustrating. It takes up lots of time. And online dating really does suck for most guys. Most guys get almost no results. And most guys get frustrated. And most guys honestly find it demeaning and demoralizing. That said, online dating, if you do it right, actually can be one of the easiest forms of dating in a lot of ways. And there's this huge disparity between almost everybody who does it wrong gets no results and the very few tiny percentage of people who do it right and get tons of results. So what I wanna do in this video is I'm gonna go through your excuses. I'm gonna acknowledge them because a lot of them are valid and then I'm gonna debunk them or at least I'm gonna help you through them and we're gonna find out how to actually get results in what is becoming one of the biggest forms of dating worldwide. So in this video, I'm going to debunk a lot of the biggest criticisms guys have about online dating. But before I even go there, I have to let you know there is an inner game aspect to online dating, which sounds crazy, right? You're just sending messages, you're putting profile. How can a profile, how can messages have inner game? But the fact of the matter is your outlook and your understanding of what online dating is will be central to your success. Fact of the matter is most guys fail at online dating, not just because they're bad at it, but because they give up way too early. Most guys have this idea that they just put a profile up and they're gonna get results immediately. That is nonsense. Unless you're a male supermodel, that's not happening for you. What you're doing in online dating is not like going out and getting a job and getting a paycheck your first week. Doing online dating is a lot more like investing or building a business where the returns come slowly and gradually over time, but you are building an asset so that every single day, every single week, every single month, it gets better and better and better and easier and easier and easier. If you start a business, you stick with it for five days, you're not going to succeed in business. It takes time. If you invest and you expect to get like a return, like five days in, like triple your money, you're not gonna do very well at investing. It's about slow, steady improvement and building an asset over time. And that's how I want you to look at your online dating profile, your messaging, your date strategy. It is an asset. It is getting better each and every day. Every time you get a new photo, you're making the asset better. Every time you figure out a new first message that works, you're making the asset better. Every time you figure out how to handle a common shit test you get, you're making the asset better. And you need to be writing that down. You need to be recording it so that you can come back to it later. You need to treat this like a business. You need to treat it like a science. If you do, even if you suck at it today, you can get good at it and can get crazy results with it down the line. Okay, so I want you to have that mentality that it's not about the results you get the second you put your profile up. It's about making improvements on improvements on improvements until you have an amazing profile. And I'm gonna help you to make those improvements not take a tremendously long time. I'll help you make it a lot faster, but you are going to have to improve it. You are going to have to work at it and build it, right? But the beautiful thing is this, once you've built that asset, it continues to bring the girls in with less and less and less effort the longer you go. So let's start with the most common complaint about online dating. I'm not getting any matches. And by the way, if you're getting so few matches it may as well be zero, you're still in this category. Or if the few matches you do get are about 300 pounds and look like your lunch lady from middle school, that also is counted in this category. Okay, so we're talking not getting any legitimate matches or not any matches that you even would want to message. If any of that is the case, there are basically three possible reasons why. Reason one, your photos suck. Reason two, your profile sucks, the written part of your profile. And reason three, you're not being put or not putting yourself in front of enough girls. If you solve those three things, you will solve this problem. The thing about online dating is it's simple math, right? People view your profile, what percentage of them look deeper, what percentage of them like you. Very, very simple. Right? So you need a number of views, you need a certain percentage to look at it, and you need a certain percentage to like what they see. And if you get that in place, you will handle this. So very quickly, let's talk about each of these categories. First of all, photos. Most photo issues can be handled by just not being lazy. Sorry if that's tough love for you. If you have any friend or acquaintance who remotely likes photography, and you just get them to take you out and shoot 200 photos of you, you will probably get an improvement in your online photos, okay? Get someone who knows 
the tiniest bit about lighting and who's willing to take picture after picture after picture. And on your part, you need to practice different poses, try and look different ways, try and do different expressions, etc. And you're going to throw out almost all of them. If you take 200 photos, you're going to throw out 198 of them or more. But with just pure effort in taking photos, you can get pretty decent photos. Beyond that, fashion in photos is absolutely huge, okay? Put on your best clothing for the photo. If you don't have any good clothing, go buy some good clothes for the photos. If you have to, this is a little unethical, but if you have to, go to a store, get some nice clothing, take your photos in it, and then return the damn clothes, okay? There is no excuse. Get good stylish clothes for your photos. Oh, and by the way, get a good haircut as well. One good haircut, one time, pay for it, okay? And then by the way, once you do it, take a picture and then get someone else to cut it that way later on for cheaper. But make the most of your appearance, put in a little bit of time and effort. Almost everybody can look tremendously better, and I'm talking like scale of 10, like two to three points minimum better, putting in the effort into their fashion, putting in the effort into their haircut, and getting a decent photographer to just take photos to exhaustion. By the way, before your photos, Go look at yourself in a mirror and practice for half an hour posing different ways and see how you think you look best. And by the way, it may not be smiling. It is absolutely fine not to smile in your photos. But the bottom line is photos matter. Please at least put in this bare minimum amount of effort. I mean, come on, man. If you want results, you, you can't just expect it to come for nothing. Just do this little bit. And by the way, I've got more on photos coming on this channel, so be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Next up, your bio. Guess what? It matters. You may think it doesn't. You may have been told by your friends that online dating is totally superficial and all that matters is the photos. You were lied to. Once the girl looks at your photos and likes you at least this much, she's going to then look at your bio and see, oh, hey, who is this guy that's sort of attractive? And she's going to hope that in your bio, there is something that tells her who you are, that gives her a sense, a feeling of who you are and what it would be like to date you, and that that thing is positive. Here's the thing. Most girls, when they swipe on a guy or swipe into his bio and look at him, they're hoping that he's attractive and they're constantly disappointed because most guys' bios absolutely, totally, comprehensively suck, right? They may suck because they're actually off-putting and unattractive or like even scary, but most of the time they suck simply because they are boring and irrelevant, okay? And this starts with, uh, take for example, a site like a Hinge or a Bumble where you use prompts. It starts with your choice of prompts. Your favorite color is not a good prompt. It's irrelevant. What you're looking for in a girl or what you will tolerate in a girl is a much more relevant prompt. It's gonna be a lot more emotionally provocative for the girl. It's gonna be a lot more useful to the girl in assessing you in a positive way. I go into depth on profiles, a lot of other places, but cliff notes for this video, your profile should do at least three things. It should make the girl feel like getting your affection is a win, that there's some exclusivity to that, that you're in demand. Number two, it should convey to her a little bit of what dating you would be like in an interesting way. And number three, it should make you seem like a human being and not just a cocky asshole because those first two categories, if done right, will make you look a little bit like a cocky asshole sometimes. So your bio needs to do those three things. Any time you're spending on irrelevant topics, in your bio is wasted space and girls' attention spans are very, very short, right? As soon as they're bored, as soon as it's irrelevant, as soon as it's off topic, they're on to the next, okay? So your photos will get them to look at your bio and read your bio. Your bio will get them to actually like you and engage with you. Final form of laziness, and that's really what I have to call it for most guys, is not putting their bio in front of enough girls. And there's various manifestations of this. If you're not active on a site ever, the site is going to assume you're not active in dating. It's going to make your profile dormant and it's not going to show you to girls. If you never swipe on any girls, then you're not going to be shown to those girls you didn't swipe on. Beyond that, and I do encourage you to do this, if you want to be shown to a lot of girls, you probably are best off paying a little bit of money for the algorithm to actively show you to girls. As soon as your profile is showing that you get some matches with some consistency, you can magnify that or multiply that tremendously by adding a little bit of fuel to the fire by doing some kind of a paid membership on the site. You wanna make sure your photos and your profile are good first, so you're not just throwing money at nothing. But once you're getting some sporadic matches without spending money, you want to, again, exponentialize that, for lack of a better word, by putting a little bit of money into it as well. Put your good profile, now that you've made a good profile, in front of as many women as possible. Okay. 
So now your profile's amazing, your photos are amazing, you're finally getting matches, and some of them are even attractive. Now we get to the next sucky part about online dating, which is getting from match to date. Now, there are tons of resources on this channel about text game already. Um, and actually, there's my text guide, which you should check out. It's in the description of this video. Check that out right now. That's going to help you tremendously with your messaging. But a couple extra quick cliff notes on text game, which is obviously a huge topic that I can give you right now. Number one, your texting needs to be directional. It needs to have a point, okay? If the interaction's going well, you need to be moving it forward towards a close. Most guys in messaging, they do, you know, 16 pages of text about how was your day? What did you do today? What, what are you into? What kind of music do you like? Irrelevant. In the same way I talked about making the profile relevant, you need to make your texting relevant too. Remember how you met her. She's on an online dating site. She wants to go on a date. Why are you making it hard for her? Why are you making her wait? Okay, she wants to get to the date, you need to move it in a direction. Now, on the other hand, you don't just wanna be like, hey, let's go out as your first message. Although to be fair, that's probably better than what most guys do, but that's still not a good first message. Again, check out the dating guide, uh, the, the messaging guide and all that kind of stuff, right? But yes, your texting needs to have a direction to it. It needs to be moving towards a close. Second key point to online dating. Please do not reinvent the wheel every single time you message a girl. If you write something to one girl, and it works, meaning it gets a good response and moves the conversation forward towards a date, write it down. Keep a document on your computer, Word, Excel, I don't care how you do it, keep a document on your computer that has all the stuff that ever worked for you in an online game. And then when you come up on a similar situation, use the same thing you used before and make a note if it works again. Over time, you're gonna find a few things that work over and over again really, really well. And pretty soon, when you match with a girl, instead of having to put a lot of unique original thought in, you're gonna copy and paste one thing you did before, she's gonna respond with something you've seen before, you're gonna copy, paste, copy, paste, and boom, you have a date, okay? So please, 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 again, treat it like a business, treat it like you're building an asset. Don't treat it like you wanna start over from scratch every single conversation. So once you have competent photos, competent profile, and competent messaging, you should start getting a lot of dates. I have students who literally, and I mean this, I mean the word literally, I know what that word means, go on a date every single night. When I try and go hard on online dating, I go on a date every single day, sometimes more than one in a day. Now, you don't have to go to that extreme, but I'm just telling you, the consistency of dates should be very, very high if you are doing this well. Okay, so now that your photos don't suck, and your profile doesn't suck, and your messaging doesn't suck, let's talk about the next thing that kind of sucks. For most guys, dating sucks. Most guys' dates involve taking girls on a lot of expensive excursions and ending up with maybe a peck on the cheek at the end of the night, if they're lucky, right? That is not good in terms of your time, your money, your results, your morale. It's not good. There's a lot that I could say about dating. There is a ton. I've talked about dating at times on this channel. I'm going to have lots of dating information upcoming right on this channel, including live examples of me on dates with real girls from online dating. And there's gonna to be tons and tons of that inside my new upcoming course, Online Dating Academy. So that's all coming. But in this video, I'll give you a couple quick cliff notes so that you will hopefully get better results and spend less money. Number one, stop spending so much money, all right? Take a girl for drinks instead of dinner. Number one, it costs less. Number two, it's actually gonna lead to better results, right? It has more of a romantic feel. A lot of girls don't feel particularly sexy after eating a huge meal. And the other good thing about drinks is that if you're having drinks with a girl and it's going really well, you can leave and go to the next place. If you're in the middle of a five course meal, you can't. And so you don't even have control of the timing. And again, if you're gonna go on, three dates, four dates, five dates a week. Do you really want to take girls to $300 dinners over and over again? Can you even afford to do that? It's just not a good or viable strategy in terms of cost, in terms of enjoyment, or in terms of results. So please just drop the dinner dates and start taking girls for drinks. Next key point, do the date near where you live. If that's not possible, do the date near where she lives. 
There are few things as frustrating in life as having an amazing date with a beautiful girl and at the end of the night being half an hour from where you live, half an hour from where she lives, and neither one of you can go home with the other plausibly and it's a huge pain in the butt and then you have to go for a second date when you both would rather continue it right there on the first date. And oftentimes that second date even flakes or doesn't happen or whatever. It's incredibly frustrating. Some of the biggest regrets of my dating life involve that scenario. So please do not put yourself in that scenario. Put the logistics in your favor. I'm not gonna say every single date is gonna go amazingly or has to lead to sex every single time, but at least allow for the possibility. Allow for the possibility that a good date can become a really, really good date. Don't block yourself by your planning. Next tip about dating, you need to flirt. That's the most important thing happening on the date. Getting to know the girl is great. Exchanging facts is wonderful, but the most important thing is flirting. You can have lots of flirting and very little of that logical factual content and have a great date. If you have all facts and no flirting, you're not gonna have a great date. So number one, learn to flirt. Lots of resources on this channel. There is a thing called verbal game, um, but also put it upon yourself to flirt. Take the small risk of saying something flirty instead of having the absolute certainty of a date that goes nowhere. Platonic dates are not dates. That's sitting and talking with a friend. That's not a date. And speaking of dates, remember why you're there. You were on an online dating site. She was on an online dating site. She wants to meet a man. She chose of all the options you. She came and showed up on the date to see you. Therefore, she likes you, right? And that should be your understanding of the date. She's there, she likes you. So stop thinking you have to try so hard to impress her. Be your best self, be awesome, flirt, have fun, but don't be bending over backwards trying to kiss her ass, okay? She likes you and she wants to have a good date even more than you want to have a good date. She picked you from all the guys, so you should go in with the knowledge and the belief she finds you to be attractive. Don't come in thinking you have a lot to prove and she thinks you're ugly. Come in thinking, knowing she found you attractive enough out of all the guys she has options to go on a date with you. Keep that confidence. That's gonna carry through and make everything else in your dating so much better as well. So what's the bottom line? Online dating sucks for most guys for all of the reasons I've outlined because most guys suck at each step along the way. But in truth, Online dating is actually one of the most amazing dating opportunities that has ever existed. It makes dating easier for men than it has ever been in the history of mankind if you're willing to put in the time, have the patience, and do things the right way, right? You need to have that mentality that you are building a business, building an asset, you're building a system, right? That's what you're doing in online dating. You're building a system where you just like crank out the results consistently with no effort down the line. You're not trying to get one date tomorrow. You're trying to get consistent dates every single day if you want them for the rest of your life. That's what you're building towards. As long as you have that mentality that you're constantly improving, as long as you have that mentality that you're creating an asset, better photos, better profile, better messaging, better plans for your dates. If you work at it step by step, you're going to get consistently better to the point where you're gonna get insane, insane results. But most guys are lazy. Most guys don't have a plan. Most guys don't follow that plan and almost nobody has a system. And that's what I want you to get out of this is to have a system that gets you the results you really want with online dating. And yes, you can do it. It does take a little bit of effort and it takes intelligent effort, but it is absolutely possible for you.